part two. Part two, in continuation of part one, a couple of uh, important details. Um, one, many spe uh, in-wall speakers that you'll see on the marketplace actually are sunk into the wall so that the drive units sit below the where the drywall surface or the wallboard surface would be. That's actually a very, very bad thing acoustically because the edges that stick out past the drivers cause reflections and what's called diffraction around the drive units. So instead of getting a nice even spread and a spacious sound, you can get a very localized and closed in sound, which sounds very unnatural. The other thing that uh, is distinctive in our in-wall products is that many baffle uh, materials that you'll find in the market are actually plastic. We use MDF, which is the same material that we use in our bookshelf and floor standing loudspeakers. The reason we want to use something like MDF is the baffle which is the part of the speaker that the drive units, the woofer and tweeter, are mounted to, they're subject to the most vibration, and you want a material that can dissipate that vibration. MDF is excellent at that. So there are a couple of more reasons that uh, the Axiom in-wall products result in excellent high-quality sound. Okay.